Hello, this is MBS, Mama Binso with Bin Bin Gamer and Red Ninja Boss with and Chapter 1 like, of Kids Quest, starting Episode 3. Okay, let's go down there and try Whisper to... Whisper whizzes past you. Whisper will whiz past you when he sees you. So don't even go on it unless you want to see Whisper whiz past you, knocking you into the water. Oh, I think we have to do that because then... I know. to the side and then we chop it up. I know, but seriously, which is passion? me! It's too bad I don't know how to swim, I could just swim across. Unfortunately, it's heavy duty water, so you won't so, get a The lesson in this story is take a swimming class in case you ever find yourself in water. <laughs> or a situation of water. Yeah. A situation with water. All right. Uh, get now. Cut up the tree. Cut up the tree into multiple pieces so you can make a raft across. Get an axe out. These guys are continuously going in a loop. You have to go near it. And you aren't here. Now you are. I love the artwork in this animation. I left the hatch and lodged in the tree because I would not need it any more. Are you sure? Quite sure. Everyone always asks about that hatch. It gets a tad annoying. Huh? You crafted yourself a little laugh. What? We You're supposed to tie it together. Oh, we didn't have any rope. Don't do it again until we get rope. Don't push it yet. Oh yeah, don't push it. Go up and get rope. Then here's where a chocolate gets across. This is our beloved Achaka. The brave knight. Don't say that. A chakra only speaks one very, very, very diabolical weird language. That's a chakra. Look at him go. Whisper kind of cheated across. He has no eyes, just a black void inside his helmet. He does actually have eyes. It, the black void's covering his eyes. Okay, shoot at the tree. Oh. That's because you don't aim properly. Then Ataka, Achaka later on in the game teaches you how to aim properly. Now Achaka's across. Now there's just that little guy. Let's Manny, go. he gets across pretty easily. He just walks. Not lying. We just lost. Now we take out our rope. And we tie everything together. It's a beautiful afternoon. Now with all the bees, of course. Look at Manny, he just walks across. Hey, we should have walked on that part. <laughs> Hang on a sec. Graham, right? Yes. Um, how did you know my name? Well, you'd be surprised at the information people give out when they're too busy thinking about their own agenda. I also observed that without you, no one could have made it across. Well done, Graham. Uh, thanks, I guess. They'll never acknowledge it, you know. Those who use their minds over their biceps are never woven into the tapestries of time. I can tell you're like me, a creative thinker, an intellectual. To win this competition, you'll need to prove that your talents are more powerful than their strength, agility, and speed. You'll also need a friend. I can really use a friend. They call me Manny. 
pleased to meet you. So, friend, what's your favorite color? Do you like popcorn-flavored jelly beans? Because I do. What's your availability for sleepovers? Are we in a secret club? <laughs> Green. I prefer pizza-flavored. I'm free on Wednesdays and Saturdays, and I would say more of a secret alliance. Alliance? This competition will not be easy, and Daventry needs men like us. If we put our heads together, we might have a shot. What's the plan? If you win, put a good word in for me with the king. And if I win, I'll do the same. Soon, we'll both be moving up the ranks in the castle together. We should head inside the theater, though. Let me know how I can help. It's nice to have a friend. Just we up. can't do what he just did because we're bigger than him. So I can actually walk inside. To the front of the stage, please. Now that we have recovered our list, it is my duty to inform you that you are officially signed in. Yay. And I do want to apologize. I am very, very terribly sorry. But we've run out of commemorative tote bags. That's not a problem. I have no use for tote bags. My mother designed my cape with lots of pockets. Is the next event about to start? Not so fast, pocket boy. The tournament bylaws explicitly state that each contestant must complete every event before continuing on in the competition. Since you were late, you missed the test of chivalry and the welcoming parade. Both designed as light-hearted warm-ups and getting-to-know-you type exercises. You know, an icebreaker before we start in on the usual death, destruction, and duels of a cutthroat nature. Don't forget about Amendment 70, Article 4. I was getting to that, thank you. In the spirit of equal opportunity, the new rules state that you can schedule a make-up chivalry test if, and only if, the circumstances for your absence were extenuating. So, I will ask, what were your extenuating circumstances that made you late for the tournament? I didn't hear about the date change. My mom wouldn't let me leave before I finished breakfast, and I don't know what extenuating means. Well, uh, I, I, guess I, I never heard the date was switched. Mm-hmm. I'll just pencil in hard of hearing. Now, go on, mingle with the other contestants, find out as much as you can about them, and when you're ready for the chivalry test, come and see me. Hey, uh, thanks for knocking that log over out there. Really, it gave me the opportunity to go on a lovely cruise. Those knights were annoying me, and I wanted some alone time. Leave me be, little fly. You don't want to wake the bull. Look, I, I don't want to be in this conversation any more than you do, but I missed the chivalry test, and I need to make it up. The faster we get this over with, the faster I can leave you alone. Well, make it quick. Then buzz off. Um. I'm Graham. Graham... Cr no. No last names. I don't even want your first name. And your name? I'm known throughout the land as Sir Conference. But I am currently in the process of rebranding myself, starting with my name. You should call me Acorn. Acorn. What was your name again, Sir Fatso? Uh, it's Acorn. Get it right or pay the price. What was that you were hiding in your paws? Well, none of your business, feather boy. Seriously, what are you hiding? Is it a snack? Leave it alone, String Bean. Oh, okay. I'll that's... leave you be. Go away. We okay, got to stop to somebody else. Like, the guy terribly hates you. With my fingertips when... Let's Hello. My I name's Graham. Graham. Nice to meet you. Ah, Chaka. So, where do you hail from? Ajaka. I see. Sounds exotic. 
So, um, what type of arrows do you fly with? A uh, chaka. That's all I Nice, see. nice. I prefer the hand-whittled sapling arrows myself. Wanna partner up? Show Daventry the power of dueling archers? What do you say? A uh, chaka. Yeah, you're right. You'd probably just slow me down. Good chat. I'm gonna get back to the chivalry test. Hey, Graham. We were just sharing some tips about the tournament. Let me know if you want the rundown about any of our competitors. Um, what can you tell me about Acorn? I can tell you not to mess with those bullhorns in any strength competition. I shouldn't be telling you this. But I heard a rumor that the man keeps a pet squirrel under his belly. What kind of a weirdo does that? Imagine what else he's hiding under there. Neither of us is going to be able to match his strength. If we're going to oust him, we'll need to work together and expose his secrets. What can you tell me about Achaka? I'm studying his every move. He should make any opponent quiver. <laughs> You got me doing it now. He's fast, strong, and vicious with his bow. I'm trying to convince him to join our alliance, but the translation isn't quite working. What can you tell me about Sir Ten of himself? That's so inconsiderate. Although clever, these silly buns are not very becoming to a gentleman like yourself. Go meet everyone, then come talk to me. I've got a few tips to share. Okay. Sound good? Thanks, Manny. Goodbye! Okay, I have to go meet everybody. So that means we have to talk to him. I could... Hey there, I'm Graham. Charmed, I'm sure. And your name? What? Well, I, I didn't catch your name. What? Is this true? <laughs> Surely you jest, Greg. What rock did you crawl out from? <laughs> How do you not recognize this... Well, proportioned face. Well, it's not Greg, it's Graham. And, uh, of course, I know who you are. You're... 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 Everyone. Every woman's dream? You got that right. The ladies love, 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 love... Who? Who? Who do they love, Gabe? It's not Gabe, it's... Oh, never mind. Yes, your name... Uh, you are... You're... That jerk who pushed me into the river. Oh, yes, that silly feather does look familiar. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> like a limp piece of cheese. <laughs> what you need, Gail, is an upgrade. <laughs> like my mane of excellence. Hey, hey, my mother gave me that feather. I might be silly, but you're... you're... Sir Ten of himself. <laughs> Ch cheeky. <laughs> but now you're starting to bother me, Grant. <laughs> I, I couldn't help it. Um, no, but seriously, you're... going to have to wait one second. I'll be right back. I'll be waiting right here, Garrett. I could feel oh, the riches. You have to wait until you know everything. Get, grab Are you the ready for the chivalry test? test? Let's do it. Question one. Who is the only knight competing in the tournament that speaks multiple languages? Manny. We're friends, you know. We have kind of an alliance. Next question. All right. Next question. This knight hopeful hails from a land far outside of Daventry. Based on the odds, he is favored to win the competition. Achaka. Okay, moving on. What is the full name of the fastest contestant in the competition? No, not circumference, no. Oh, uh, well, let's see. Sir Ten of himself, the fourth. I see. Last question. Who or what is the favorite companion of the strongest competitor? Well, 
I know he likes stimulating conversation. Now, how did I do? Okay, let's see here. Tallying, tallying. It looks like you got two answers correct. Why don't you go and mingle? Gather some more fun facts about your fellow competitors. Return to me when you're ready to take the test again. Should we talk to Whisper again? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you want? I uh, heard what you're hiding. No, you didn't, skinny pants. I did. I heard a rumor that a tiny squirrel pet lives under your belly. What? Who told you that? I bet it was Whisper. He's the worst. His ego is the one thing I can't stomach. And she, well, she's not my pet. She's my friend. Does your squirrel friend have a name? I wish Whisper would keep his big mouth shut. Her name is Princess Madeline of Avalon. She's a proper lady. What else is hidden in that belly? The bones of a feather boy if you don't leave me alone. I think you're hiding something else in there, but I'm not sure I want to find out. What was your name again? Sir Balrus? Uh, it's Acorn. Get it right or pay the price. I'll leave you be. You need to get lost. Wow. Let's talk to Whisper. No, Whisper's terrible. Yes? Have you remembered my name? Whisper. Correct. Well, Whisper's full name is Sir Walter Harris Ignatius Sally Percival Eduardo Ramon Jr. The third. Hailing from Modesto. But I'm sure a fan like you knew that. Would you like an autograph? Huh, I don't seem to have any portraits on me. Well, if you find one, I'll sign it. Free of charge. Whisper loves his fans. Whisper loves the knighthood. Whisper loves thwarting evil. But most of all, Whisper loves Whisper. As do we all. I should be getting back to my chivalry test now. Don't go! Whisper can do it! That's a nice thought, but I'm pretty sure those guards would never confuse you for me. I mean, your armor is pretty recognizable. Whisper's armor is shiny, because Whisper loves his own reflection. Yeah, I, I, I get it. Good day, Whisper. Yes, Graham? You want some dirt on someone? Um, what can you tell me about Whisper? Whisper? Huh. His feet might fly by without a sound, but his mouth never will. A shining star in his hometown, he hopes to rebuild his fan base in Daventry. I've heard he'll do anything for the spotlight and can never be outshined. People at Arrakan are usually primed for a fall. Don't you think so? I'm good. Thanks, Nanny. Goodbye. The um test. Are you ready for the chivalry test? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Question one. Who is the only knight competing in the tournament that speaks multiple languages? Nanny. We're friends, you know. We have kind of an alliance. Next question. All right. Next question. This knight hopeful hails from a land far outside of Daventry. Based on the odds, he is favored to win the competition. A chaka. Okay. Moving on. What is the full name of the fastest contestant in the competition? Uh, Sir. Sir Walter Harris Ignatius Sally Percival oh. Eduardo Ramon Jr. the third of Modesto. I'm sure of it. I see. Last question. Who or what is the favorite companion of the strongest competitor? Uh, Madeline. Princess Madeline of Avalon. She sounds quite charming. Okay, let's see here. Tallying, tallying. It looks like you got all the answers correct. Great job, Pockets. Now, we shouldn't keep your new friends waiting, should we? Let's start the show. Welcome, everybody. You were all here to win a knight position on King Edward's court. But that's not all. 
As you all know, tragically, the king has no heirs. So, this position could very well lead to the crown of Daventry itself. Now, let's officially commence the competition part of the tournament. I do hope you've all made friends, because it's about to get nasty. The time has come to collect your entrance tickets. Each knight hopeful will need to bring back to the theater, tum 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 tum, one eye of a hideous beast. And due to Proclamation 1748.2, it will actually need to be a hideous beast. Not like last year. No adorably cute, fuzzy or tiny creature eyes will be accepted. Thank you. Nothing to see here. There are many hideous eyes to find in Daventry. We urge you to take this opportunity to show us your skills. We want to know what's in your heart, how you think, and how you react in the face of danger. You might not believe all that can be interpreted from one eye, but we will still judge you all the same. Now, everyone, go forth and claim thine eyes. Ooh. Whisper can do it! <laughs> In the cave, I know Acorn gets some wolf eyes. Look, there's a lady there, fixing our fridge. Not exactly a fridge. Like Watch your step, kid. Oh, thanks. I know it ain't fancy, but it'll have to work for now. Amaya Blackstone, nice to meet you. Graham, the pleasure's mine. It's nice to see all these bridges are getting fixed. All these bridges? No, kid. This contract is over. Daventure can't afford me anymore. They can't even afford oil for the crumbler over there. My own invention, of course. Oh, what does a crumbler do? It lifts, it chops, it crumbles. Most importantly, it brings in the monies, which are desperately needed. Been kind of rough around here lately. It seems that way. Daventry's been an interesting experience so far. Different from what I read in my travel books. Honestly, I'm starting to wonder if it's for me. Don't worry, kid. It's not you. This kingdom's been going downhill ever since the Queen died. And now, with the bridges out, no one can get into Daventry. It's really quiet. I hate the silence. I'm a woman of action, if you couldn't tell. Quiet towns don't pay the bills. I can see that. Well, I should get going. Perhaps someone's wandered into my shop. If you make it there, come say hi. I'm on the left. Wow, she's very quick. <laughs> well, that's all for now. This is MBS, Mama Vinso, signing out with Red Ninja Boss and Bin Bin Gamer. And we'll see you for the next episode.